In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the ROS2 topic command line tool. So let's first start a node that publishes something so we can analyze the topic. So we can use, for example, the ROS2 run demo nodes CPP and with the talker example. So this is a simple node that should already be installed for you. If not, you can install this package, demo node CPP, and it will simply uh, publish hello world with a counter, as you can see here. So, ROS2 topic. How to use ROS2 topic? First, if I press tab and not enter, if I press tab twice here, I will see all of the different comments I can use with ROS2 topic, okay? We are going to see the most important ones. So first, ROS2 topic list. ROS2 topic list will list all of the ROS2 topics running on your environment. So you have the ROS out topic, which should always be here, the parameters event, and then we have the chatter topic. And the chatter topic is directly related to the node we have started here, okay? If I kill here the node, I do ROS2 topic list, I don't see chatter anymore. So I can start the node again. And we have chatter. Now, if we want to get more information about that topic, we can do ROS2 topic info and then the name of the topic. And don't forget the leading slash here. Okay. So we have three information, the type, okay, which is the type of the message you have to send on that topic or you have to read from that topic, and then the number of publishers and the number of subscribers. So the number of publisher is one because simply we have one node that is publishing here, okay? So we have one publisher and zero subscriber. Now I'm going to go on that terminal and do ROS2 topic echo chatter. So ROS2 topic echo will simply listen, will subscribe to the topic and will print every data that it has received. And you can see here, we received the exact same data, hello world 67, which was sent by the publisher here at the same time. And if I do ROS2 topic info again, you can see now that we have one subscriber. Okay, when you do ROS2 topic echo on a terminal, this will start a new node, and this node will be a subscriber to the topic. So I can kill this. And now let's see a few other comments. So ROS2 topic, you can use ROS2 topic HZ, which means basically hertz. Okay, with the name of the topic. If you do that, this will listen to the topic, will subscribe to the topic, and it will print the average rate okay, for the topic. So you can see that the average rate is one hertz. Okay, so we know that this topic, the data is coming at one hertz. This can be super useful if you don't know what is the frequency. Uh, for example, if you want to publish at a very high frequency, for example, 1000 Hz, and then if you think that some messages can't be published fast enough, then you can use this command and maybe you will see that instead of 1000, it will be just 200 Hz. And in that case, you can take actions accordingly. And now if you do ROS2 topic BW, this is for the bandwidth. Okay, so similar to health, but this will not tell you the frequency. This will tell you the bandwidth, so the number of bytes per second that are sent uh, through the message. So you can see here, we are about 35 bytes per second, which is very low because it's just, it is just a text, okay? Just a text message. All right, so those are the main commands you can use to debug topics with the ROS2 topic command line tool. And now if you want to publish directly from the terminal, so you have seen how to subscribe. So let's subscribe again, ROS2 topic echo. 
So when we create a subscriber, we of course get all of the message from all uh, publishers running in the environment. So for now we have one publisher. So of course the subscriber data will be the exact same as the one we have on this publisher. Now if I want to publish a message on the topic, I will first need to know what kind of message do I need to publish. So let's go back to Rust to topic info chatter. We see that we have the type here. So this is the type we need to use. And now how to know what is inside that type? Well, you can do Rust to interface. Okay, this is an interface and then show and then you can copy and paste or you can go to this message here and you will see so this is a comment okay so you have four commented lines and you can see here we have the type so you can see we have only one field inside that message and that field is so first you have the data type which is a string and then the name which is data and you can see here we have when we subscribe with uh, Rust topic echo we have data okay so let's publish something so to publish something you will do Rust to topic pub okay and then you need to give either a frequency or we can use dash one so we are going to publish only once on the topic and then return. So Rust2 topic pub and then the frequency and then the name of the topic. So we are going to publish on the chatter topic. We need to give the name of the interface. So you can just start the name and then press tab. And then we need to give the data. So to give the data, the best way on a terminal, you can put quotes and inside that curly brackets and you will write data Okay, data because this is the field name we need here. And then let's put a string, hello from terminal. Let's press enter and let's see what we have here. Okay, you can see hello from terminal. We have received that string here on the subscriber. And you can see the command directly exits. Now, if we want to publish, let's say at two hertz, you can use dash R, okay, for rate, and then put two. And you can see here on the subscriber side, we have hello from terminal that is coming at two hertz, and then the hello world with the counter coming at one hertz. So if we do, for example, ROS2 topic HZ with chatter, You can see now the average rate is three, okay, because we receive three messages per second, okay, one from here and two from there. All right, that's pretty much it for the most common features you can use with Rust 2 Topic Command Line Tool. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials in the future and also check out my online courses to learn Rust 2 step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point Links are in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.